When your React.js components release bugs, and they will, then you have to depend on your unit tests to come to the rescue. Then we run a unit test. And I know you love writing tests for your code. But what happens when your unit testing suit also releases bugs? Hi, Gideon here and welcome to the channel. Today's video is a quick tech tip for you if you're a React.js developer and using React testing library and Jest to write your unit tests. I really searched far and wide online for a solution to this particular error. Oh, really? But could not find one. People, our search is over. So when I experimented and finally found a solution to it, I decided to make a video to help out another dev out there. If it does help you, share the video with your teammates. So you have created your React app with Create React app, written a few components, written your unit tests for your components, and now you are ready to run the tests. You run your tests and get this error. To solve it, go to the file setuptests.js, import text encoder and text decoder from util package, and set up the global text encoder and text decoder variables to the ones you have just imported are shown. I'll put a link to this code snippet in the description below so that you can copy and paste. Save the file and now run the tests again. And voila, the tests run successfully. Don't add this code to jest.setup.js. It won't work unless you try using it alongside a jest.config.js file, but that's not something I have tested. The master says they are untested. If you got to this point of the video, then I have a bonus tip for you. Bonus track, bonus track. But before that bonus tip, kindly give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. That helps me massively. Now, the bonus tip. If you're using Axios to make your HTTP requests, then you may get this error when you run your tests. This cannot be happening. Not another failure. To sort it, go to your package.json and add the following code to allow Axios common JS module to be imported using the ES module import. Again, there's a GitHub link to the code in the description below. Save the package.json file and run your tests again. By that, I mean actually stop the tests if they were in watch mode and run npm test again. And voila, the tests now run successfully. But did you know you can use the font awesome icon library in DaVinci Resolve? Watch this video next to find out more. Otherwise, thanks for watching and until the next one, lights out.